What's up guys, I'm Suman from Phone Steam and I have the brand new OnePlus 6 in my hands with me. Today I am going to be comparing this with the OnePlus 5 and I just wanted to make this video because there is a really big improvement in terms of camera quality from the OnePlus 5 to the OnePlus 6 and this is one of the best generational like upgrades that OnePlus have done to their smartphones. Now. I've taken pictures of various scenarios in various uh, lighting situations and today I'm going to emphasize more on the low light performance as this is where you can see one of the best improvements in the OnePlus 6. The first picture here is of a leaf and this is taken during night and there is a really harsh light hitting on the subject. And now when we zoom in a bit, you can see the difference is really evident. Now on the OnePlus 5, the leaf or rather say the details on the leaf are really like softer than that of the OnePlus 6. Yes, and that is because of the bigger sensor size, like it is 19% bigger than the previous model. Now the second picture we have is again of a leaf of course, but this time the lighting situation is not as good as that. Now we have only a little bit of light hitting on the leaf, but when I zoom in, you can see that the noise reduction on the OnePlus 6 is a whole lot better than the OnePlus 5. Now the third picture here is of a light bulb. So this is an extremely dark situation. Yes, the light has just turned off. So the sensor will have little trouble picking up the subject. But I think the OnePlus 6 has done a really, really good job. And when again zooming in, you can see that on the OnePlus 5, like literally you can see only a red dot and but let's take a look at the OnePlus 6, you can see even the Philips logo showing up slightly. It's not going to be really like really evident, but a slight uh, showcase of the Philips logo is there. And even the area where the light is coming from is also like really prominent when considered with the OnePlus 5. So when you take a look at the background of the same picture, you can see all the leaves, the branches all show up. Whereas on the OnePlus 5, it is pitch dark. And now to look at the front facing camera, of course we don't take it in a dark environment. So that is the reason I used a flash and this is a picture of my friend. Now on using the flash, so when you zoom into the picture, you can see on the OnePlus 5, the picture is washed out. Whereas on the OnePlus 6, even though it's not as crisp as any DSLR or any other even more high end pixel devices, you can see a lot of detail is regained. So it is not like washed out, it doesn't have this artificial look. So even in terms of the front facing camera, there is definitely a lot of improvements. Now moving on to a more brighter situation, like we have natural light. And this is a picture of my vehicle. And when we zoom into the Honda logo, you can see that of course a lot of detail is preserved. But in terms of the color, you can see that on the OnePlus 5, it is like more saturated, like the, uh, the gray is more darker. Whereas on the OnePlus 6, the greys are not as dark as like it is not as saturated as the OnePlus 5. So this gives true to life colors. And in this picture of the grass, this is where you can really see like how saturation is like playing a dominant role on the OnePlus 5. We can see the picture of the leaf. So I'll just indicate it to you. As you see the details on the leaf, even though it is far apart, uh, it is more like prominent on the OnePlus 6, whereas on the OnePlus 5, it is still there but not as clear as the OnePlus 6 and even in terms of the color you can see that the greens are like literally dark green on the OnePlus 5 whereas on the OnePlus 6 this is how you see the leaves or the grass in real life. So a huge kudos to OnePlus for making the pictures not oversaturated and making it look lifelike. Now in this next picture we have the sun in the background so it is definitely hard for the sensor to pick up more information from the subject which is in the foreground but I think OnePlus 6 has done a really good job so uh, let me explain when I zoom into the picture as you can see the stem of the of the leaves when you see that there is more detail and like it is more brighter on the OnePlus 6 whereas on the OnePlus 5 the stem itself is dark and I think the sensor on the OnePlus 5 had a really tough time like uh, preserving all the details and even look at the sky, the sky is like blue, that is how the sky was. 
it kind of looks a little saturated but that's fine whereas on the OnePlus 5 you have kind of a grayish tint on the sky but actually it was not like that now here we have a picture to check out the portrait mode on both the smartphones now the focus of this picture is on this s kind shaped extension of the uh, aloe vera leaf so as you can see here on the oneplus 5 uh, the edge detection is not as great as the oneplus 6 on the oneplus 6 the camera has done a really good job of detecting the edges whereas on the oneplus 5 it is not as great as this so again when you take a look at the background the blur is like natural on the one plus six and that is again a huge thanks to the f1.7 aperture but on the one plus five it is good but when compared to the one plus six it doesn't look too natural it looks like artificial now moving on to the video side of things and as you know one plus six has both optical image stabilization and electronics image stabilization whereas on the oneplus 5 we have only eis now that is a huge huge advantage for the oneplus 6 now on the video which is being shown on the screen right now you can see that the image quality of the oneplus 6 is like really really better than the oneplus 5 and that is a huge thanks to the sensor with which is bigger than the oneplus 5 as you can see here there there is very less noise and another advantage the oneplus 6 has is your 4k 60 fps and whereas the oneplus 5 doesn't have that so you can basically use your oneplus 6 to start a youtube channel now i'm not going to be emphasizing more on the other features like your slow motion kind of stuff because i'll have that saved for the complete review which is coming probably soon but until then all i want to say is that the generational upgrade like in terms of the camera from the oneplus 5 to the oneplus 6 is freaking amazing so i've personally been using oneplus devices from the oneplus 2 till the oneplus 6 yes so for many generations i've been a oneplus user and this is one of the best generational upgrades in terms of the camera now oneplus is on the right track and within the next one or two years they will beat the crap out of other high-end flagshippers in terms of camera of course this is one capable sucker right here and i have to say i am really really happy about this camera the review of the oneplus 6 is coming soon and i'll be comparing the oneplus 6 with the oneplus 5 so this is an entire comparison including the performance battery life etc etc and that will help you decide if you need to upgrade from the oneplus 5 to the oneplus 6 so if i've missed anything that you want you didn't see uh, definitely let me know in the comments down below and i'll make sure i'll answer all those so thanks for watching and this is suman signing off once again catch you later